Persona 4 Arena Ultimax is the follow-up to the excellent Persona 4 Arena. The game features many improvements and a couple of new additions that flesh out an already great fighting game. The first thing you notice about this is the new menu layout and the UI changes. Surprisingly, the presentation is even better this time around. Ultimax features small changes to Arena's fantastic UI, from simple color swaps to completely new menus that give Ultimax a fresh look that differentiates it from its predecessor. Although the presentation looks different, the fundamental gameplay hasn't changed. Ultimax feels similar, but looking at the little details show that there is a lot more to this game than a simple reskin. Fatal counters work a little differently now with certain attacks triggering a fatal counter if you are hit during the recovery, forcing you to consider the risks before mounting an assault. Also, in Arena, every character had 4 Persona cards, but this time it differs with some having 6 and others only having 2. It may seem like a minor change, but it affects the depth of the game since there is a lot more to think about and it just adds another layer for the hardcore players to dig into. Characters also receive new moves and SP skills along with shadow variants of the roster that really mix up the gameplay, making Ultimax feel fresh and exciting. A lot was changed this time around, but the biggest additions are the new members to the cast. Yukari, Junpei, Kanan Koromaru from Persona 3, and Adachi, Marie, and Risei from Persona 4, along with newcomer Sho Minazuki. The most impressive part is how all of the characters feel unique without being overly gimmicky. Accompanying the new characters is Golden Arena Mode. This is a mode where you go through a certain number of opponents while leveling up your characters and gaining new abilities to help you get to the very end. It's quite fun and gets addicting really fast, so it's a welcome addition. Along with Golden Arena are the returning Story Mode and Score Attack, both of which have changed. Story Mode continues its similar visual novel style, but instead of individual character stories, you have it divided into episodes and chapters that focus on a specific group of characters. This may seem familiar to people who have played Blaze Blue Chrono Phantasma. Score Attack on the other hand now has difficulty settings, but to unlock certain navigators you still need to play on Risky, which is the hardest difficulty level. Is it still hard? Of course it is. Arxis loves making difficult modes like Unlimited Mars mode in Chrono Phantasma, and this is no different. You now have to beat 4 risky level courses to unlock a navigator, but you have the amazing ability to continue on the same fight if you lose. Lesson mode got updated with more relevant info, and challenge mode got a different set of challenges for all of the characters. I'm also glad it mentions when you need to do things such as jump cancel instead of just blindly guessing. It's a small thing, but it definitely is worth noting. There are 25 regular trials and 5 shadow trials as well, which is a good way to show people what makes the shadows different. Network mode also got a couple of changes in the profile department and a couple of UI changes. Other than that, online play is still great with the exception of me laying down on the ground at the end of every single match. My one major gripe with Arena was score attack. It really didn't help that I wasn't any good, but that mode was still, quite frankly, bullshit. Ultimax made the one adjustment I wanted, and that along with the wonderful changes and additions make the game one of the best, most well-rounded fighters I have ever played. If you like Persona 4 Arena, there are enough differences here to warrant a purchase. If you haven't played it, this is a great place to start. In other words, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax is a godlike fighting game in every sense of the word. Thank you for watching my B&B review on Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. I'll be making more reviews soon on other fighting games, both known and unknown ones. The series is still a work in progress, so any feedback is helpful. Other than that, stay godlike fighting game fans, while I go and get bodied online in Ultimax. Maybe even make a combo video, who knows. <laughs>